Pastor Gene Kim from Bible Baptist Church. So this will be the most scary video that both unbelievers and Christians will be terrified. Guarantee. And even if you don't, after watching this video, I promise you, you will one day. Now, you might wonder, what in the world? Oh, what's going to be so scary about this? Well, let's start out with this. Torture is probably the most scary thing that anybody can think of. No one wants to be tortured. If that were to happen to you right now, you'd be terrified. The first thing to understand is Matthew 10, 28. The Bible says that we are not to fear those who kill the body. Anybody who can inflict pain or the greatest torment to our physical flesh, but they still can't kill the soul. So the verse says you got to fear God who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So hellfire is the worst, the most scary thing to any unbeliever. Burning in hell forever without dying. That's one of the most scary things. It is said that burning at the stake during the dark ages is one of the most cruel uh, tortures to die under because you can literally burn for hours. Nobody wanted that. So burning is one of the most cruel things you can ever think of, especially for eternity. Now, some people might say, well, it's not a healthy thing. It's not a good thing that you're posting a video like this scaring people that's so unchristian but actually it is a good thing because proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 points out right here that the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding it's a wise thing to have the fear of the lord you might say why there is a thing called healthy fear even psychologists talk about that. Even some scientists recognize that. Without the instinct of fear within us, then we might push our bodies to do really dumb things that could inflict greater pain or damage ourselves. But fear can prevent us from making dumb decisions. For example, you're walking on a bridge and then underneath that bridge is hundreds of feet uh, below a dark cliff. I mean, if you had no fear to jump off the bridge, then you could die. You could die. But that fear is there so that you can rely and stay on the bridge and not be dumb enough to jump. So it is a healthy fear. But also, the fear of the Lord, it gets rid of actually fear. What? That don't make sense. Fear of the Lord gets rid of fear. Yeah, because Exodus chapter 20, verse 20, it says right here, And Moses said unto the people, Fear not. Why shouldn't you fear? For God has come to prove you that his fear, the fear of the Lord, may be before your faces, that he sin not. See, God's fear will get rid of the wrong kind of fear or sinful fear. Worrying God's fear. The fear of the Lord, or God's fear, can cast out the fear of man. Worrying about situations, worrying about the future, worrying about tomorrow, financial troubles, family troubles. You shouldn't fear about that. When you have the fear of the Lord in you, where I've got to do what is right rather than what's wrong, then it'll prevent us from doing wrong. A lot of times, the fear of man or our fleshly fear causes us to do something wrong or poor decisions, right? So the fear of the Lord prevents us from doing that. Now, to a Christian, a saved Christian, what's their fear? The Bible says that we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. One day, a saved Christian will go before the judgment seat of Christ because we're going to be judged for every good or bad thing we've done. And that's why the verse is knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. That should be a terrifying thing to any saved Christian. Now, some Christians might say, well, God already knows all the bad things I've done. There's going to be a lot of people who've done bad things to saved Christians. So, you know, they're not worse than me. I'm no better than them. And we're, I think we're all going to be in the same boat. Well, that's not going to appease your fear. That's a very foolish thing to do. Remember, the Bible says... The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. 
don't be foolish to try to simmer your fear of the Lord. Because the Bible says right here that when we go up in heaven, we're going to see the Lord Jesus Christ, but we're going to have his body. He's going to change our vile body to be like unto his glorious body. Now think about it. What is the number one thing that Jesus Christ would dread the most, would hate the most? It would be sin, obviously, because he is holy, which is why Jesus Christ did not want to go and die on the cross to take our sins. He asked the Father to get the cup to pass away from him because he didn't want to take our sins upon himself, but he did out of love for us. Think about it. Jesus Christ hated more in taking our sin upon himself rather than the torture, than the pain. Especially the crucifixion is a horrible thing. Well, think about it. If we're going to have his body, we're going to share his hatred as well. We're going to hate sin more than torture. Now that's a terrifying thing. Same thing like an unbeliever. What's worse than physical torture is burning in hell. Well, to a say believer, what's worse than, think about it, getting tortured will be being judged for the good and the bad we've done. That's what Jesus hated the most, too, is the sins more than physical torture. And we're going to have his body. That's a terrifying thing. See, what it all comes down to, whether you're a Christian or an unbeliever, the worst thing, the most scary thing that anyone can think of is basically being judged by God. Notice right here that the verse says, and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it. That's God in Revelation chapter 20, verse 11, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. There's no place to run. There's no place to hide because you're being judged by God. As a matter of fact, it is very sad and unfortunate, but think about it. If you're a lost unbeliever, you're going to go before this great white throne. You're going to get out of hell because notice right here that uh, the dead uh, got out of hell to be judged by God at the great white throne judgment at verse 11 and 12. When you get out of hell, when you get judged by God, imagine the horror that Everything is revealed with the holiness of God. The most terrifying thing for anybody with sin is confronting holiness. That's why a holy Jesus did not want sin. He hated sin that much. It's the most terrifying thing. When sin and holiness are in direct confrontation and conflict with each other, it is one of the most terrifying, one of the most unbearable things ever. That basically a sinner would be glad to be thrown in the lake of fire in hell because that's where sin goes to because sin is incompatible with the holiness of heaven. Sometimes people don't realize this. Not going into heaven because of your sin and burning in hell, it could be more merciful than you think. Some, the sinners would not even stand the holiness of heaven that they'd be glad to jump into the lake of fire and burn in there forever because that's where sin belongs. Man, what a horrible, sad thing. That's the reason why it's so important to get saved now. Let Jesus Christ wash away your sins so that you can go to heaven and be happy. No sin in heaven is one of the most happy things, but to a lost sinner, it's one of the most terrifying things. And where sin belongs is burning in hell forever. If you're a saved Christian, then it's so important to find a Bible-believing church, please. Please go to realbiblebelievers.com and then go to our resources section and go to the church directory there and go to a Bible-believing church because go to a pastor. They will ask them about Hey, I heard about the judgment seat of Christ. I want to be ready. I don't want to face the terror of the Lord over there. What can I do to get ready? The pastor will be happy to help you. Please do so. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. 
if you watch this video if you enjoyed it and pass it along please because this will be probably the most important video for both saved christians and unbelievers